Hi uh, YouTube, Jordan here. Let me shut that light off real quick. Don't really need that. Oh, there we go. Uh, long time no see. Uh, or here rather. You've never seen me, and you never will. I have just been in here the past couple months, on and off, uh, building a new Buick 350. This one is a 71, so it was. The first year of the low compression 350s, this I believe was about 8.5, maybe 9 to 1. It was a two barrel, so I think it's probably closer to 8.5. Uh, I've got the crank in it. It's turned 10 thousandths. No, I'll turn the light on. It's turned 10 thousandths on the rods and the reins. Yes, there's electrical tape on there. I had that on for storage. It's not going to do anything, just clean the crank up with some brake cleaner before you put bearings on it, on the rod journal, rather. Uh, Buick 350s are notorious for having very bad uh, casting flash in the lifter valley. I have taken a file when the block was still bare, taken a file and smoothed all this stuff out. I smoothed out this oil return passage right here with the file. As you can see, the bottom of the hole used to be about about right there, where, where my nail is. So I just took that and filed it down. The type of file I use is, uh, for that is called a half-round bastard file. Uh, don't... Here it is. Yep. As you can see... Half round, half of it's round, half of it's straight, and it's called a bastard file. I bought it at like Lowe's for eight dollars, kind of like a medium grit, I guess you would say. There's not really any grit on a file, but like medium coarseness. And then over the course of a couple minutes, just sawing back and forth, got that done. Uh, I got a mock-up cam. It's a free cam I got with the engine. It is fairly tiny it's basically an rv cam for a buick 350 it's like 439 439 lift uh 252 advertised duration it's i think it's on a 110 lobe separation it's pretty tame so instead of using this i ended up uh buying another crower level 3 cam which is not too hairy it's 448 lift 476 lift on the intake and exhaust, it's got about 20 more degrees of duration on the intake. It's got 281 degrees on the exhaust. It's on a 112 lobe separation, so the lobes are uh, a little bit farther apart. So it's got a little bit more lump to it than this would. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much just what I've been doing. Field trip. Here's my car, as you can see. I'm being pretty quiet now because with my oil pan. Being pretty quiet now because it is 11 o'clock at night. There's really deep snow. It's like a foot and a half of snow over here. But as you can see, up under there, perhaps. Come on. There is a that frame is in the way. Hold on here. There is a gaping hole in my engine. Right there. It kicked one of the rods out on the highway at about 3,000 RPM with no warning. It just whirr, clack, 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 boom. So. That is why I'm building this. And this one is going to be a little bit better than that one was. It's going to have slightly higher compression. I have discovered that 3 liter Buick V6 flat top pistons fit on the rods perfectly. They're the same bore. They have the same... Yes, these are standard bore. Uh, this is a standard bore block. It only had 60,000 miles on it. It honed up really good. 
pretty good 45 degree pattern right there. It looks better in real life than it does on camera. But yeah, 3 liter V6 pistons fit perfectly fine. They have a much shorter compression height. These have a, an 1805 compression height. The factory pistons, I believe, are somewhere along the lines of 1850. And that's 1.855 inch compression height. That's the distance between the center of the pin hole right here to the top of the piston. So these, because they are much shorter than the factory ones, even though they're flat top, they will only net about nine and a half to one compression. Mine, with how mine is set up, is going to be about 9.7 to one. If you deck about 10, 20 thousandths off the block and then another 10 or 20 off the heads, you could get it up to about 10 and a half to one. Or if you use a... 20,000 uh, steel shin head gasket from TA Performance or another vendor, you could get that extra half point in compression, bring it up to about 10.2 to 1. I don't want to do that because Buick 350s running iron heads at 10 to 1 compression on 91 octane is just a no no. It, it'll detonate like a son of a bitch. So until I get aluminum heads, which are most likely going to go on to that motor, uh, Nine and a half is perfectly fine. You're not going to notice or feel the extra 15 horsepower, maybe, from the extra half point compression that you would gain. I much rather run lower compression engines with more timing than a higher compression engine with less timing. This motor, when it was first built, I used the cheapest pistons I could possibly find, which were actually cheaper than the 3 liter V6 ones. And its compression after I, I tore it apart after it blew up derp, uh, and figured everything all out. It was about 7.9 to 1, which is basically what it was stock. This was a 76 engine. They were 8 to 1 anyway. But with the 30 overbore and the deep dish piston, it was about 7.9 to 1. This had a comp 268 cam in it, which was basically the one or two levels above that. Uh, it sounded super choppy and I was running at open headers for a while and it just sounded like it had 700 horsepower but it way fucking didn't it was probably about 250 at best so but th that thing would haul ass up until about 4500 rpm when it would just run out of breath that's the benefit of having low compression being able to crank like 14 degrees initial timing on it and just whatever timing your distributor happens to have. The ones I use have 22 degrees mechanical advance. So that plus 14 equals 36 degrees total timing. Put some light, some lighter springs in there to bring the timing in by like 2600 RPM. And it feels really snappy down low and off idle. Especially if you have the accelerator pump tuned right on whatever carburetor you're using. Anyway... This video is about 8 minutes and 45 seconds of me just explaining nothing. But long story short, that engine exploded. This one's going in there. See you later.